friends, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for reading. Today we're going to go back and reread Welcome Home Bear. Before we reread, we are going to talk about some of the power words that are in the story to help you understand it better. Then we're going to set a new purpose for reading. But first, let's go over the power words. Our first word is forest. Say it with me, forest. A forest is a large area covered with trees. There are many trees and animals in this forest. Our next word is steep. Say it with me, steep. When something is steep, it's almost straight up and down. This steep mountain trail is hard to climb. Our last word is underground. Say it with me, underground. When something is underground, it's below the ground. For example, a groundhog lives underground in a safe home. Now that we talked about the power words, let's talk about why we're going to reread our story. Today, we're going to go back and synthesize. Say that word with me. Ready? Synthesize. Great job. When you're synthesizing, you're taking information you learned from different parts of the text and you're putting it together to learn something new, kind of like putting together the pieces of the puzzle. That might sound a little complicated, but don't worry, I'll help you all the way. It's time for us to get reading and practice synthesizing. Every morning, Bear woke up in the same green forest under the same blue sky. One day he thought, I will find a new home. Why does Bear want to find a new home? He's bored with living in the forest. How can you tell that he's bored? What do you see in the pictures or here in the text? Well, in the text, it says that every morning he does the same thing. When people do the same thing over and over, it can be boring. So he climbed up to see Bird, but her nest was so high in the trees. He dug down to visit Mole but it was stuffy underground and the dirt got in his nose. He went to see Goat, but standing on her steep cliff made him dizzy. He swam to Octopus, who was surprised to see him, but the ocean was too deep. What's wrong with Bear here? You're right, he has black stuff on him. Hmm, the text says Octopus was surprised to see him. What inference can you make? I can make the inference that an octopus sprays black stuff when it's surprised. He found polar bear and the puffins, but the snow was so cold under his paws. So he went to see camel, but now his paws were hot in the desert sand. He paid a visit to orangutan, but it rained and rained and rained. He decided to find the hippos, but there was mud everywhere. After visiting all his friends, Bear was tired. He wanted to be somewhere that was not too high, not too stuffy, not too steep, not too deep, not too cold, hot, rainy, or muddy. Bear doesn't like his friends' homes, but the homes are just right for each of his friends. What new idea can we come up with about animal homes? That's right, animals live in the habitat that's just right for them. He knew just where he wanted to be. It might be helpful for us to think about what lesson Bear learned in the story. By the end of the story, Bear learned that what you have might be better than what you thought. That's it for today. I'll see you later. If you like this story, don't forget to like and subscribe.